And I call this the 3% rule. This is a concept in the book. And what it argues is that any given time, 3% of your market is buying, the rest are not. And what the model demonstrates is there are two modes to marketing. The top 10%, which are uh, people who have a need or are buying in the next 60 to 90 days, and everybody else. And the vast majority of your market is not buying right now. So if we go through this quickly, we have 3% uh, who have a need right now and are proactively shopping. They're the ones that are going to Google. They're the ones that are calling your salespeople. And then you have 7% that will respond to an ad, a promotion, or some other kind of engagement. And this is where the lion's share of marketing dollars go. This is where the big companies spend their money. This is where the promotions are existing. And this is where most marketing dollars are wasted because the lion's share of your market is not paying attention. And these marketing messages fall on deaf ears. So what's so powerful about the wheels and deals scenario is they're engaging with people three years before they're needed. People don't buy cars every day. They buy them every three to five years. So how do you connect with them when they're not to a buying audience? So you have a third of your market who has a need, but not enough to act. A third who does not have a need. They're too small. They bought already. They've, uh, they're just not ready. And a third who's just not interested in your company. And these companies could be loyal to the competition. They could have had a bad experience with you, whatever it is. It's recognizing you just can't be all things to all people. But what the Wheels and Deals program is doing is engaging in a non-solicitory sales process. And that's where sticky brands are built, is in the lower 90%. How do you engage a customer when they're not shopping? So let me pose a question to the audience, and if there's is do you have any suggestions of companies or brands that are doing a great job uh, engaging the lower 90%? Any other kind of examples? If you do, raise a hand and there's the microphones kicking around. Yeah. Anyone? Is Steve Shane here? Or there's, yeah, go ahead. I'm just wondering about content marketing in general. So that stuff that's perhaps not soliciting right, right away. It's a perfect example. So content marketing is absolutely a key way that it's happening here. Uh, we have blogging and newsletters. Um, one of the examples that comes to mind immediately with that is Mitch Joel of Twist Image. Has anyone heard of Mitch Joel? So he uh, is a president of Twist Image, which is one of the largest digital ad agencies in, in Canada. And he has two best-selling books. He's on the speaking, spe speaking circuit, blogging. And this is all evangelical content uh, in terms of evangelizing his own brand that builds relationships 